County Fair time is known as the best week of the year to many 4-H kids. But getting their hands dirty and the journey leading to the fair is what holds the greatest worth when it's all said and done. Meet the McKenna sisters. They spend four hours a day in their barn, all for a mere two minutes in the show ring, knowing that the purpose far outweighs the placement. These are the sounds of the road to the Woodbury County Fair for the McKenna sisters, Bailey, Addie, and Natalie. We usually catch them, um, and then we bring them into the barn so they can eat. We leave them tied up for about an hour while they're eating. Then we go take them on a walk so they can get their exercise. And then um, we bring them in and tie them up and rinse them so they're clean. And then at the end of the day, we pretty much do it all over again. That's just a few of the many chores 4-H kids tackle on a daily basis. And while they have their sights set on the county fair, when everything is said and done, the end prize is much greater than a purple ribbon. It obviously teaches you to work hard. And responsibility because you can't just like leave them they have to be fed and walked and they're high maintenance very high maintenance right so yes well no project in 4-H is easy it's a labor of love that pays off later in life the banners and the trophies are nice but it's the day-to-day -day, get up in the morning um, take care of your animals you know the animals eat before the girls eat and at night we do our chores and then we eat supper and so um, it's the it's the day-to-day -day work ethic that they're getting that we are proud of. The McKenna sisters are filling the boots of four generations of 4-H'ers in their family. I love the legacy that 4-H creates, you know, um, the hard work ethic that my grandfather had when he started 4-H and then my dad and then myself and now my daughters. Um, they're just growing up in the barn. Now, Bailey is committed to passing on the torch to a fifth generation. It's taught me a lot, and I'd like my kids to, like, learn about it, too. Like, I've been raised in 4-H, so I want my kids to be, too, um, raised in, like, the same ideals I was. While taking care of their projects takes a lot of grit and hard work, the girls couldn't be more grateful for this opportunity, one a lot of kids never get. I wish all kids could do 4-H because... It's a good opportunity to learn stuff. When the show is over, the show sticks are hung up, the cattle let out, and the boots are put away. We're dirty and exhausted at the end of the fair, but it's what childhood memories are made of. For the McKenna sisters, the real reward is yet to come, and the lessons they've learned and the people they'll become. The McKenna sisters will be competing at the Woodbury County Fair this week, and we're wishing them the best of luck.